So this is the blog from the third day, fourth day? I've lost track. Fourth day. Fourth day. Tell us what we've done. Right, yeah, okay. So uh, this morning, uh, it was actually a massive treat for us because we got to wake up uh, an hour later. Uh, I woke up at seven, which, <laughs> which was a really big really big thing and it's seven o'clock on a sunday you just can't get any later than that here can you literally it's i felt so good about that so uh yeah and then we had breakfast and then we was packing all of the donations that everyone's been donating into suitcases ready to go to all of the organisations and the schools. What kind of things did we have? Uh, yeah, we had, we have clothes, we, we sorted them into two piles, one for Zamba and um, the other one for the squatter camp. Oh, Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah. Barcelona camp. Oh, Barcelona squat camp. <laughs> but we're not posting them to Barcelona. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't know one. Desperate football team. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so what kind of things did we have no ages? I know you said everything. What uh, kind of things were they? Clothes for all ages. Um, Loads of books. Yeah, toys, books. Uh, stationery. Stationery, medical, medical stuff. Care. Hygiene. hygiene. Yeah, hygiene stuff like that. And loads of like little silly bits. And here's a video clip of us packing. Uh, we are um, sorting out the suitcases that we've uh, packed up to donate to the squatter camp and the school. And we're sorting them into piles so we can like give half of it to the school, uh, like the equal, an equal amount to the school, and all the station route to the school, and then the other half to the squatter camp. And we're back. Uh, In the afternoon, we visited a really big, big shopping mall. Uh, it's called the East Ram Mall, it's about half an hour away from where, ba uh, where we're based um, and we basically spent two hours shopping uh, it makes High Cross look tiny um, uh, the, you have all the stores like Nike Adidas, Mac, yeah. everything I bought a new tart and um, yeah it was really good fun but the thing we noticed was that um, all the people, sh well, the majority of people shopping there were all white. They were really wealthy, weren't Really wealthy looking people. And then I think I saw one white worker, well, member of staff working there in the shops. All the people working there were just, were just black. And Not many of them spoke proper English either. No. And that basically that opened our eyes to see, yeah, the like. How is your, how, what would you say? What's the term? Racism or the divide? The divide is it's still going on here in South Africa. Um, and then on the way back, on the way back, we was like driving through this big junction. We saw this like little man. He was dressed like not very nice at all, and he had this little sign around his neck. And he was literally like that far away from every car we came across. And he could have got it just like begging for a job. He was that desperate. Mm. So yeah, that's what we've done. And then now we are. We're just chilling, really. We got people over there playing football. Uh, we've just had a uh, amazing game of pool. Amazing game of pool. So we took an hour. We took one hour. more. <laughs> um, yes. Um, it felt like longer. Oh my God, it's horrible. <laughs> Everyone got bored and walked off. Yeah, and yeah, and now we're just waiting for tea. So, good day, chill day. Any personal messages for family at home, friends? Hi mum. Uh, hi mum. Uh, as I said on the uh, the uh, the blog last night, that uh, I'm sorry for not messaging you, but uh, I it's just really hard to find the time. I don't really want to go on my phone. I've not been on my phone since on the plane, so that's why. But love you. I uh, miss you. Um, thank you for keeping my bed warm, Alpha. Remember that? And I love you both loads and I miss you all.